So continuing to field questions here for you, Simile, student asks me about the best way to study genetics for step one, okay? Very easy question for me to address. This is not going to be a long clip. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share it with one of your friends prepping for US Millie. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find my Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which is about the best way to study genetics for step one. And I say that this is a very easy question for me to answer because I literally made an excellent genetics PDF, okay? And it's for free on my site. So until this point, genetics has been severely lacking uh, in resources, okay, such as first aid. And I'm not talking about just sort of laying out for you the genetics terms, heteroplasmy, allelic heterogeneity, boring fucking terms. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm referring to you getting questions on the NBME exams on E.G. Hardy Weinberg, and you're like, dude, fucking hate this shit, okay? Those types of questions. So I made a high-yield genetics PDF that is not the bullet point style. It's 50 quick questions, okay? I should say quick. I shouldn't say quick because they're actually very difficult questions. But the point is, if you go through the 50 question free high yield PDF that I made for genetics on my site, and I'll drop the link below, your genetics is literally going to go from an F to an A plus. I'm not fucking with you. Okay, it's an excellent, excellent PDF. And I put effort into that PDF when I constructed it, because that is one of the gaps in particular in the resources that I uh, was able to observe over time. I just said there's no fucking good genetics uh, resource that's concise and to the point and, t and uh, teaches you exactly what you need to know for the U.S. similes. Okay, obviously I can make this an extended clip. I have no fucking reason to do that, so I'll just end it here. So I'll make more content. You know the deal. Subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.